It was so long ago. We met in October of 2012. It was so long ago. So long. <laughs> so long. Uh, I miss it. I really do miss it. I know. We have to go back. We One day. To, we have to go back. One day. We will. Okay, that we're getting off topic. Oh. <laughs> Hi, YouTube world. My name is Erin. And my name is Jeff. And this is our first video ever. We uploaded two previous videos, one of our wedding dance and one of our just wedding video. Yeah, and I love telling this story. It's a funny story. <laughs> uh, to start off, we met over in South Korea through Friends of Friends. We were the last people on Earth to meet through Friends of Friends. Uh, after us, it was all through online dating. Uh, at least that's what my friends tell me. Our friend is Tara. Yeah, so I was over in South Korea teaching. I was teaching ESL, he was in the military, I lived in a city called Daejeon, and he lived in a city called Kunsan, and my coworker was his friend. And she, and I had been looking for, you know, black girl hair care products, and my friend Tara really wanted to get onto the base because she wanted to go see her boo. That's when she contacted him. Yes, and I refuse to be a third wheel, so I made it very transactional. I will let you onto our base if you bring me a woman. And I didn't want to go. I did not want to go. I did not want to go at all. I was like, I've heard about how American military men act overseas. I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to go. We wild. And, <laughs> and she was like, well, you'll be able to get that shea butter that you've been talking about. And I was like, damn it. Mm. Well, then I'll go, but I won't have a good time. She was determined to not have a good time, but we had that jojoba oil. Uh, jojoba. Yeah, you know, we had that ethnic hair care aisle <laughs> over on the military store. Yeah, so he, he, okay. So she was like, okay, well you have to come. And I said, um, okay, fine, I'll go. Uh, what does the guy look like? And she was like, well, he's quite cute. Okay, so background information. Our friend Tara, born and raised in Ireland, so for her, there is no differences in the stage. You know, we're all American to her. So I was like, well, what does he look like? And she was like, oh, he's quite cute. And I said, no, 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 where is he from? And she was like, he's from Utah. And I said, and you are trying to introduce me to a guy named Jeff who's in the Air Force from Utah? No, <laughs> we will not get along. And she was like, I don't understand. And I said, don't worry about it. You know, America is a little different. And she was just like, oh, please, please come. He wasn't letting uh, Tara come on unless she brought him a woman. I did not want to be a third wheel at all, but uh, we finally convinced Aaron to come on through. Uh, I didn't ask any sort of preparation. I didn't ask uh, what she looks like, who, where she's from, anything like that, because I'm gonna be real. She was an English teacher. I just assumed that she would be a thick white girl with a college degree. But uh, the that The college morning, degree part is right, but everything else. Well, that's a requirement to be an English teacher. You must have the foresight to have been born in an English-speaking country and have a degree in literally anything. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But we start off with the day, and I went on over to a public spa to get myself all gussied up, my shirt pressed, my shoes shined, uh, my face all exfoliated, because today we were going out in style. Uh, and that caused me to be about 10 to 15 minutes late when I sent a half-hearted apology text and walked on through to the bus station that they would arrive at. He was late. Like, that's all I saw. I'm like, he's, he's late. I'm like, what is this? So you want me to meet your American military fan? So what I was expecting, I was expecting, you know, buzz cut, tats, like, America, yeah. And... The first thing he did he, when he showed up, like in the doorway, he was very, very tan because I met him when it was like blazing hot, even though it was October. So this golden brown man shows up in the doorway of the cafe and I pulled my friend to the side and I said, Tara, who's that? And she was like, that's Jeff from Utah. And I said, no, <laughs> no. As no. I walked in through the doorway, I didn't know what I was expecting. I wasn't really expecting all too much, but I wasn't expecting a black girl. So <laughs> I kept my smile on, blink, blink. Hi, my name is Jeff. And I said, Jeff from Utah? Yes. And then I said, you're late. Yes, <laughs> apologies. Okay, so now this brown person comes into 
uh, the cafe and he was like, all right guys, let's go. Cause we were only sitting there waiting for him. So mm -hmm. once he showed up, we can go to the base, we can drop off our bags and then he can show us around and I can finally get my black girl hair care product. All right. Uh, pro uh, took a cab on over to the base, processed them through the concrete checkpoint where they had to surrender their passports and uh, become the responsibility of me to make sure that they don't steal any national secrets or, you know, like do any sort of espionage stuff. He took us into like the store, the general store for the military base, but mm -hmm. we were not allowed to use our money. No. We had to give our money to him so that he could purchase it for us. Also, the only place on the peninsula where you can get your uh, Popeye's fried chicken or your Taco Bell. And when you get homesick, those are the tastes, those are the flavors that you really need. I had never really eaten at Popeye's until I got to, <laughs> until they got to Korea and I saw that that's where all the black people eat. And I was like, wait a minute, why are we only eating Popeye's? Let's experience Korea. But I like it, it's Popeye's Korean style. Like all the sides are not the typical size that you expect here. Yeah, you get your pickled you, radish. You get Korean size, which I thought was really cool. Yeah, nothing like fried rice and fried kimchi. Love it. <laughs> okay, so, so. We do all of the daytime activities and then we go on out to the city uh, to tear up the night. And I pulled out all of the stops. Uh, went to the M16. Wait, wait, wait you're, you're forgetting something. We have to backtrack. We went when we dropped off um, our bags to the, his room, and that's when I was like, okay, now I can corner him. So I said, you're Jeff. Yes. And then I was like, Jeff, uh, what's your last name? It was written on my shirts. It was, and then I was just like, hmm. But, 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 but uh, since this seems to be so interesting, Jeff isn't my real name. And I was like, oh, see, I knew it. All right, my real name is Steven. <laughs> and then I was like, so, uh, uh, what's your mom's name? Susanna. Like, okay. And then I just became the obnoxious American that everybody talks about. And I said, so what's going on in there? You know? And then he told me. I love this game. So I <laughs> made her, I gave her three chances to guess. Uh, oh yeah. Filipino? The first one was Filipino. And no. he was like, no. Then the second one was Latino. And he was like, no. Oh, well, my mom's Thai. My dad's white. And I'm like, somehow I came to be on this side of the world. Wait a minute, back up. Okay. And I was satisfied with that answer and I let it go. Here I was thinking that she was staring at me because I was pretty. He is good looking, but the first, my first thought is, you know, well, don't you look different? <laughs> Sun's starting to set. Uh, we have to go on out to the town to tear it on up. Uh, and I pull out all of the stops. Uh, took her on over to the Party Street, uh, where they Is had- Is that A-Town? No, no, no. A-Town was, town was town. later. Party Street was where all the Koreans go to party. They had, like, the shooting galleries where you can just, like, And uh, the balloon animals. And the balloon animals. And then we went on over to my best bar, Thursday Party, where I they have a magician Party. bartender. They have flaming shots. They have all of the bells and whistles that you could possibly want, uh, for <laughs> your LMFAO experience. And it was so funny because, okay, I'm not that- I'm not a big drinker, not a big drinker at all. But in Korea, I don't know what happened. I, you know, screw it. When in Rome. When in Rome. <laughs> do as the Romans do, and when in Korea, you get tore up. Yeah, all of my Korean friends go hard. Took her on over to Old Party Street to find uh, more things to do. Tara, Tara was the third wheel because her dude did not show. We weren't expecting the hit at all. Oh my God, we totally forgot about the bookcase, which is why you became interested in me in the first place after I was right. an obnoxious Yeah, American. when we were dropping off our bags, uh, she took a look at like the books filled with words that I had on my bookshelf. Uh, very rare within the military dorm area because you know, like who, who needs those words? <laughs> but uh, yeah, she, she took a look at my bookcase. She took a look at all of my uh, DVDs. Uh, I remember you cornering me and asking me, what do you know about J New Jack City? I'm like, it's a fine, yeah. <laughs> it's a fine film. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Nino Brown. He, to defend myself, he had all these black movies, you know, and when I say black movies, I mean movies that you predominantly see at the cookout. You know, he had New Jack City, he had like the color purple, what's low got to do with it? And I said, wait a minute, hold up. Their bootleg DVD scene was on point and every single week, I throw down $20, get five DVDs every single week. My uh, collection amassed to an almost threatening sort of uh, size. 
It's still with me today. But but we went, um, so after Thursday party. Uh, Thursday party, we went on over to Old Party Town. And then Old Party Town, that's uh, when my, that's when I made my first move on you. And uh, <laughs> invited her to a sweet kiss. It was not sweet. It was not sweet. All of a sudden, he just kind of took me and then jammed his face in my face. There was nothing romantic about it. I was like, damn dude, I like you too, but for real. I just wanted to, you know, set the tone and make my intentions clear. Whatever, he did not want any of his other military friends to come around and try to steal me away. Well, yeah, bringing a civilian onto a military base, it's like bringing a wounded gazelle into a lion's den. <laughs> All right? Like, <laughs> Am I a wounded gazelle? Yes. <laughs> yes. And every single dude could smell the blood in the air. Mm. Just like looking Smells at your braids, good. those are off regs. And she walks with the sort of weight off of her shoulders as if she did not sign up to be part of the government for at least six years. This is true. They knew, they knew that I was not military. They just knew. Mm -hmm. They knew. <laughs> right. Uh, so after Thursday party, that's when we go on over to A Town, America Town. America Town. <laughs> it's uh, the little uh, piece of land where the Koreans just set up a bunch of bars specifically to contain us, so that <laughs> we don't uh, leak into the general population and scare everybody else. So while we're over in America Town, I show her to the uh, bootleg DVD store. I show her to the bootleg jersey store. And, and he I lets me choose whatever I want in the first movie and. Treated her like a queen. The first movie I choose. <laughs> the first movie I choose is Prometheus. And then the second movie I choose because I told him, I said, hey, you know, we kind of look like those characters. I got the black girl thing and you've got the Maldonia thing. <laughs> so those were the two movies that I wanted to get and he got them for me. For her. Yay. <laughs> uh, so that's that's how you end a date people. Right? Uh, about 12.30, 12.45, we start funneling on over to the base. And on the base, there's uh, these things called hooches, which are like uh, community bars where there's just big old ice chests filled with beer, and uh, everyone's having a good old time after already being tore up. Uh, it's about this time that we lost Tara. Um, That's when she went to go find her man. Yeah. That's when she went to go get him. Tara, a new one, all that sort of stuff. Good old oh, yeah. Tara. Good old Tara. And uh, I take her on uh, back to my dorm, uh, graciously let her sleep inside of the bed while I uh, took my rack on down to the floor. I know, and then we, okay, so that's when we put in Prometheus, and we were like, okay, we're gonna attempt to watch it. This is 2012, people. So we put in Prometheus, and we fall asleep. Then we wake up, like, three hours later, start it again. <sighs> Fell asleep. Then we put it on for a third time, and then we ended like, fuck it, you know, we're just not meant to watch Prometheus. And that's how I remember our first date sort of, because it was supposed to be me getting shea butter and running interference for Tara because I was only supposed to keep him occupied so that she can go get her boo. And I ended up really liking him. He could speak Korean, he was hyper intelligent, and he was really funny. And I even told him, I said, you are not what I expected. Yes, I thought he would be a walking, talking stereotype. Yeah, she wasn't what I expected either. I went from Utah to the only other place on earth that had less black people, South Korea. <laughs> and I found my princess Tiana. Oh gosh, he's such a cornball, but yes, yes, yes. Naveen, Tiana, and then- She still needed to get her hair done. If you want to wait about two weeks, I can uh, take you there myself. And that's when it started. Every two weeks from then on out, we ended up uh, having a little adventure into a different town in South Korea, exploring all up and down that uh, peninsula. Two months in, that's when he introduced me uh, as his girlfriend, and seven years later. Here we are, on a couch, <laughs> in an apartment, much bigger in than the In California, we went from South Korea to California. Yep. Daejeon Kuntan, LA. LA. That's how it be. Well, thank you so much for uh, listening to us ramble. Uh, I <laughs> this just is wanted our first to tell video. the story. This is our first video, so thank you for tuning in, and yeah, we'll see you on the next video.